I'm here with Pointy Raccoon. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you doing? Not too bad. I mean, wish I'd gotten into the, uh, the brackets, but hey, yeah, it's all good. Uh, is it a good experience to be here at KeenCon and yeah. be able to play six games, basically? Yeah. Some of them with top players. I, I, oh, it's, it's been a joy. It's been amazing. Like, uh, it's it's been fun to see what how the game feels like offline, mm -hmm. um, and just to kind of share a you know a, a game that I like, I love yeah. with uh, with a bunch of other people. Just just mm. get to play games for fun. It's good. Yeah. How long do you play Quake? Um, I've been playing Quake Champions since about 2000, whenever it came out. Yeah. Uh, in, came out free to play. Uh, uh -huh. So for the past five years or so now. Um, but I I played Quake casually. Um, since Quake 2. I uh -huh. uh, played Quake 2 uh, single player. I played sort of Quake 3. Actually, I think I remember playing Quake 3 on the PlayStation. Wow. Which was a bit odd. Um, and yeah, I, I got back into Quake um, in around about 2017 18. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are one of the members of that uh, British community. Uh, uh, do you hang out with one. boys? Did you were part of that watch party that, uh, that uh, Derelict threw in? Uh, no, 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 nothing like that. But uh, um, you know, it's, it's uh, the, the big Brit Quake, British Quake community. <laughs> um, I don't really, you know, I've not really been part of the British community. I guess mm. um, it's, you know, I'm just British and play Quake. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So how did you uh, realize that you will be playing at KingCon? Um, you feel the opportunity, or there was some other reasons? It was just, it was just the opportunity was there. I looked at, uh, you know, when I was, if I was able to do it, if I was free mm -hmm. to do it, and uh, the exact days I was free to just do whatever yeah. I wanted was the date that was KeenCon was on. So I thought, yeah, let's do it, let's go. I saw you were also casting with uh, Rob Corp. Mm -hmm. Was that like a premiere for you doing uh, the shoutcast? We, well, we've been, we've been, we've done casts, you know, a few times on his channel, like yeah. on. Uh, off online tournaments yeah. um, and yeah I just thought it would be a fun idea to to actually do an in-person cast it mm. was good enjoy, yeah. enjoy do, do you like casting? I love casting casting's great so fun. do you think that uh, there might be a future for you doing uh, this uh, more? I, uh, yeah I hope so yeah, yeah. It's, that's you know I, I playing stressful watching <laughs> it's much more fun I love yeah. it okay so take care enjoy the rest of the venue here thank you for your time and hopefully see you on the uh, next LAN event absolutely thank you thank you Hello Reese. Uh, welcome to Spain for the KingCon. Yeah. We are basically meeting after more than a year since Romania yeah. where you uh, managed to get uh, like two challenges. Yeah. How does it feel to be back online for uh, after uh, such a long time? It's, it's nice uh, to see everyone. Yeah. Obviously to play online is always nice but mostly just to see everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm finishing my games today now. Yeah. And I think I got fourth so yeah. I'm through to tomorrow. Yeah. So you have is uh, like uh, five to two, something like that. Was was your result in the basic group, uh, or even uh, four, six to four one? Three, four three. Four three. I lost to uh, strong stage in Europe uh, two zero, mm -hmm. and I lost two one to Razi. Uh, you meet both players uh, on that uh, Romania Alan as well. Did you yep. play some practice matches over there with them? Uh, I played a little bit with you. Uh -huh. I don't think I played any with Strong Stage yeah. in Romania. So do do you see how the that the year and a half basically changed the game? Yeah, is yeah. it faster for everybody? I'm not sure. I think Yup is just playing very well this tournament. Mm. Um, so anyone calling him an online or is just an idiot because he's just yeah. as good online. Yeah. So yeah, I think the game is still probably the same pace. It's just people are playing better now than they were a year or yeah. a year and a half ago. So did you feel good about the LAN and uh, about uh, how, how the game performed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. was good. Uh, we had some stutters um, yesterday in practice, but yeah. most of it is fixed now. Everything okay. is good. Um, so, yeah. yeah, cool. So good luck tomorrow in the playoffs. Uh, I'm really happy for you that you managed to get through this time. <laughs> and uh, as this is uh, one, probably one of the last LANs yeah, we yeah. have this year, I wish you all the best Thank tomorrow. You. Good you. luck. Take care. Hello, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> Here we have biggest fan of David. Yep. And uh, second biggest fan of David is uh, holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's nerd out about uh, Zanaku and about uh, his preparation. Sure. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, you are essential from uh, what I see uh, in success of David, uh, making everything like ready for him, cheer for him. Yeah. How? 
be honest. <laughs> we can cut it out if you don't if, if you don't like to speak about it, but how tough it is living <laughs> with professional quake player. It's it's intense. It's um it requires a lot of dedication and a lot of sacrifice. Mm. Um, you have to be you have to be a team and you have to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I have children as well, I know I understand that you know saying no can be quite quite you can hold somebody back. Yeah. Um, so I always like to encourage Dave. Um, I think it's really healthy to um, align align your goals. Mm -hmm. I enjoy Quake anyway, I'm from a Quake yeah. background, I played yeah. Quake 3 Arena when I was younger, so we have a passion for the same thing, so that kind of makes it easier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms, of, in terms of his success and his working together, it very is much, you have to be a team, mm. you have to. Yeah. Okay, uh, I have one question regarding the last match they played yesterday. <laughs> it was versus Nosfa yeah. and after he uh, lost the DM6, yes. when they arrived to Deep Embrace, he was completely different person in the arena. Did you did you smack him or what happened <laughs> over there? Um, <laughs> no, I think um, Dave's overcome a lot of um, a lot of inner battles um, yeah. over the past two weekends yeah. they had the end point disappointment yeah. and it's just trying to get his mindset back mm. to how mm. he plays I mean you could yeah. see it wasn't him and you can see yeah. in his game style that it just wasn't him playing Saigib yeah and um, whether that was being unprepared we're not quite sure yet you have yeah. to talk these things through yeah. and maybe it requires self-reflection at the end mm. Uh, it's quite it's kind of hard to do in the middle of everything yeah, there's I can a lot imagine. of people yeah. there yeah. Um, but i think that one specifically he just didn't want to lose yeah and he just kicked himself into overdrive and yeah. to be fair deep embrace is one of his better maps anyway yeah. so he probably felt more comfortable there mm. he started hitting things yeah which makes exactly a big difference. it was crazy i mean uh, that uh, Five minutes on the deep <laughs> embrace. It yeah. was insane. Basically, yeah. not far run away from that arena. Mm -hmm. And yeah, okay, Kelly, thank you very much. Uh, I wish you both all the best in the future. No matter if it is like uh, in Quake, better with Quake, yeah. obviously, <laughs> but in your personal life as well. Thank you for this interview. Take care. Love you. Love you too. <laughs>